Thank you for your support of Family Promise. We continue to strive to transform the lives of homeless children and their family. Here are their stories. I was a homeless single dad. I was a ninth grade dropout. My son was two and we, we had nothing. I had what was in my car. Um, I tried everything up to that point, trying to raise a son um, by myself, two year old. It was, it was impossible. I, I had no idea what I was doing. Uh, couldn't even raise myself. I was in a situation where I was a couple months behind and being a single mom with three kids, I needed the help. It's, a, it's amazing uh, how little it takes to get to that point. You, you think you're fine one day and you're making it and, and then you're not. <laughs> it felt very um, not like I could pay my own bills. Um, I don't <laughs> like asking for help, <laughs> so um, very emotional because I'm a pretty hard, strong person. So I figure out, hey, I'm a single mom, I could do it myself, but I needed the help. Uh, I think the biggest feeling that I felt was disconnected. Um, I felt like I was floating out alone. It was really hard because I felt like no, nobody cared and I was kind of just there struggling in the ocean by myself with my babies kind of drowning. <laughs> it, it's, it's so overwhelming to go back and, and, and remember that feeling of despair and hopelessness that, that is on my knees in front of my son's in front of my son uh, in, a, in a hotel room thinking, man, this is the last night I can afford this place. They're kids, so I don't expect them to know what I'm going through. <laughs> so I don't, I keep them out of the loop. They, uh, they got depressed and um, insecure. Uh, it was hard to, as an adult, to, to keep it inside and not, you know, <laughs> like lose it to, to try to keep them calm and, um, I don't know, not, not add to the emotions that they were feeling. And your life just stops because you're just trying to figure out where you are going to sleep at night and what you're going to feed your kids. I didn't realize that this was going to be a journey and I just, all I saw was failure. I looked for help everywhere and I came across Family Promise. Um, it was pretty nerve wracking, but um, they were, they were great. They were it made it really comfortable. It, the atmosphere is very comfortable. I was absolutely terrified when they accepted us. Um, in fact, I, I was texting my friends asking if I could stay with them because I was scared. I had no idea what was gonna happen and it just, it was just a lot of fear. And finally, I just gave it to God. I'm like, okay, uh, whatever's gonna happen is gonna happen at this point. Everybody else, because I was a man, which makes sense, would not accept my son and I uh, into homeless programs where there, was, where there were women. But Family Promise said, hey, we can help. And what I like most about them is that they didn't just say, hey, this is a shelter. They said, hey, this is, this is a hand up. Let us help you get to where you'll never have to, never have to be in this position again. Finding Family Promise and finding some place where you can feel connected and you're not out there floating around by yourself, lost with your family, was pretty awesome. The program itself was not difficult. It was very easy to um, go by. For Family Promise to be there, they really walked through every step. I mean, it was it was absolutely incredible. Um, and so my son got to grow up having things that he probably would not have had uh, had it not been for Family Promise. And me trying to focus on working and going to school, um, it was tough. It was tough. So having that having that that extra extra hand was was really impactful on, on both me and, and my son. When you're, you're kind of down on your luck, you do run into a lot of people that are kind of jaded <laughs> or they have this, this idea of why you're there or whatever. I didn't get that with Family Promise. I really, um, I walked in and it felt warm. It felt loving, you know, you really could, could tell that they cared and they cared about your kids and they cared about the situation you were in.